So, what do you want to know? How did the third incursion start? Uh, it began in 2015. I don't remember anymore the exact date, but I believe it was 28 something. Mm -hmm. Was it 28 April? Something like that. You can you can probably get the right date by going to the uh, James Rustle's blog. You know his website? Yeah. Yeah, there is an entire blog post dedicated to the third incursion there. It should have the exact date of when it began and when it ended. 28 something. Because we began at 28 and then we ended at 28 in the next month. It was exactly one month. So uh, what was the motivation for the third incursion? Uh, the motivation was because Asgard 2 was destroyed. It was a huge morale hit for everyone involved in the base. At the time, we have no clue who was it, you know, what caused it. We don't know if it was a leak, if it was an exploit. But, you know, when it comes to BTT, you always have to assume it was someone with no intention. I had no clue that it was an accident. You know, I only found out this recently. This detail was kept hidden from me. Probably not to, you know, because it was Pyrobite, and Pyrobite, you know, he, does, he didn't want to hurt my feelings <laughs> because he was responsible for the leak, accidentally. But yeah, at the time we didn't know who he was, what caused it, so we thought, you know, someone who doesn't like us, you know, lick the base or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, I was fearing that the group would, you know, disband and people would, you know, it was a huge hit, so I thought that the only way because since we didn't know what caused it, making a new base seemed pointless, right? Yeah. Because if we made a new base... It was good grief. We, yeah, yeah, we didn't know who the fuck... If it was a leaker, we, we don't know who we was. I mean, Asgard 2 had 30 members. <laughs> and it seemed impossible to make, you know, to find out who the fuck it was. We only had suspicions, but that's it. And, yeah, the only option I saw at the time was going to spawn. Because we had nothing to lose at spawn, you know, we, we, you know, oh, okay, yeah. they grift, they grift out at spawn, who cares, who gives a shit? <laughs> it's spawn, everything is grift. So, the option was doing an incursion, the option was going to spawn and, and holding it for months, and that's exactly what we did. So, we, I knew that the group, I mean, I was still tired of shit. I mean, the group has been going for two years, I was not in the mood to keep going anymore. So I thought, okay, if you're gonna, if we're going to start to end this, we're gonna end this in, in a proper way, not with with fucking gate base grift. We're gonna do this in the right way. That was the incursion. We did incursion and we held spawn for one month. We built wrath. I mean, I, I mean, originally in the project, the idea was that if wrath was grift, it was destroyed, we would keep building other base. We, each one would have the, the name of cardinal sin. Yeah. So the first the first scene was Wrath. But here's the thing, Wrath was never grift. Oh really? So yeah, it was I mean, there were attempts, right? Mm -hmm. But since uh waiters were not enabled at the time because of an exploit that involved waiters, uh people did not manage to grief the base because people would have to mine block by block if they wanted to grief Wrath. And there was just no way to keep up because we would place thousands of blocks per day and there was no way people would have time to mine thousands of blocks per day when we would all be, you know, guarding the place. We built rafts and we occupied spawn. We repair a couple bases here and there. Uh, we changed the landscape of spawn a bit, but not that much. We, we repair some roads, we, we built some shit at zero zero. We, we used to, we use infinite TNT to blow up some casts and that's it. Not not much was a big project, was a main focus. Yeah, I read some information about the RAF outpost. Can you give some details about the bedrock at the middle? Yeah, the bedrock was... <laughs> Pyrobite placed the bedrock in the middle. Like, it was a huge event because, you know, bedrock is rare as shit. Like, even today, bedrock is almost impossible. And if it exists, it's probably like locked down some ancient regarding stash, unreachable. But yeah, Pyrobite ha had access to a few blocks of bedrock. And he wanted to spend one of them on Wrath, right? We, we built like this sand place. He had a beacon and some egos and shit. So Pyro, you know, he mined a block in the beacon and he replaced that block with a bedrock. And yeah, that's it. It was just one single block of bedrock. And that block was later removed. I believe the fourth right removed the block with, with the, uh, with the chunk exploit. Yeah. But yeah, that, it was just one single block of bedrock that Pyro had and placed it on Wrath. 
and like grew like almost in the center of that. Uh, what was your most memorable favorite memory of the third incursion? <laughs> I think my favorite memory. Uh, I mean, the whole event was memorable, but I think the one that I remember the most, or at least it was the most intense for a lot of people involved, was near near the end of the event. Like we had we, we had spent uh, we had spent like a month at spawn, right? So that was pretty exhausting. People were getting bored. We had finished Wrath Outpost with one week left, right? Mm -hmm. We finished it before the schedule. So there was nothing else to do. Like, Wrath was built. It was, it was beautiful. It was big. It was enormous. It was not something no one has ever done before at that point. And there was nothing else to do besides patrol, spawn, shit post, and chat, give you. Which, by the way, there were not a lot. And my most memorable memory was near that time. Wrath was built. And a lot of people had retreated from spawn to their own bases. There was nothing else to do. I'm just so very few of us stayed behind to look up to to the place, the base, the black house. And even myself, even myself, I was not at spawn anymore. I was somewhere else. I don't I don't remember anymore who was. He was fairly close to spawn, but he was still like two hours away from spawn if you use the highway. And one of the people that stayed behind to watch Raph Outdoors was Henry. And Henry was attacked by, I believe it was Jared, Bob Bob, and Tristan. I believe. I don't remember anymore. It was, it was a long time ago. And he was attacked. He was ganked by the three of them. He was killed. So he lied, he, he, he later, I thought, hey, Pop Bob and Tristan and shit, Jared are at Raph. They're making a huge lava cast inside uh, the base. So as soon as we, we learn of this, me, Jack the Ripa, Fit, there was someone else I can remember. Like this was years ago. Yeah. Uh, but I but I remember that it was me, Jack the Ripa, Fit, he was using his hog named Ness. It was someone else. So the, the four of us, we got together and we decided to meet up to, to go to spawn and meet him. So we, we left wherever we were we started going to spawn and we decided we're not gonna do this one by one. We're gonna meet up in the nether and then we're gonna show up all of us together to get this guy. So this is what we did. Because some of us were more far than others, right? We we're not exactly at the same distance, so we had to wait for each other. So when we met in the nether, we <coughs> waited outside the, the nether portal for Wrath. So when we were all there, we showed up at Wrath in the overworld and we found, as expected, Pop Bob and Tristan and Jalik. And we attacked him. I believe we put Jared to run. Tristan was not very happy about this. We didn't attack Tristan though, because our relationship with him at the time was unfriendly yet. But we also put Pop Up to run. Pop Up used pearls to escape us, and then he cut a lot. Uh, but yeah, that was the most memory, memory we had because, you know, these people, uh, people like Pop Up, people like Jared, they kept shit talking us, uh, the entire time over Azir 2, right? Yeah. And this was like, you know, taste of revenge. Because as, because the, the, the lava cast they made, you know, they made, they made a, a cast inside Wrath. Parabat came with Infant and absolutely removed it. Like, he'd never been there before. So, in the end, their effort to shit on us was for nothing. And we did manage to hold Wrath. Because that, that event, Henry's death, encouraged us to come back to spawn and protect Wrath all the way until the end. 28 I think it was 28 May so yeah I think this was four days before maybe six no I, I believe it was four or three days before the end so this encouraged us to keep to stay longer at spawn and protect the structure until the very end yeah. because after the, the the final date whatever happened to Raph not a problem we don't care we don't give a shit what happens is that we kept the structure intact and ready to the very end that was the goal if the next day Wrath was absolutely brief, no one cares, you know? Yeah. The objective was met, and that's what matters. And Wrath stayed as it was for years. People tried to griff it, people tried to demolish it, people spawned graders on it, but you could still see the outlines of it, you could still see the structure. It was, it was for a very long time, the structure basically remained unmovable hours for spawn. Uh, I believe today, at least this is what people have been telling me, I believe today that the structure is completely covered in lava cast. Like you can't even see any. Yeah, I went there recently. Yeah, it's it's covered in lava casts. You can go inside a little bit, but basically it's just covered in lava casts and lava and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sado. That was very informative.
Okay, but, but uh, all right. Just make sure to cut, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure to cut some 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 interruptions and shit. All right. All right. See you. See you, man. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll leave a link to Sato's channel in the description. Leave a like on the video and maybe consider subscribing for videos like this in the future. Anyway guys, stay fast and see you guys next time.